I didn't think they could pull it off. I really didn't, you know? But this skin is a dub, man. This skin is so hot looking. For me, it's probably like a 9 out of 10. I'm genuinely pleased with it. This is a win in my book. God. W. This is a W. This is a W. Hello, beta testers. I want you to pay specific attention to the terminology that shills use when discussing Marvel's Avengers. The agreed upon sentiment seems to be that this is a dub, but for contrast, the community seems to feel the opposite way. The top comment by Hey JJ Lopez in a Reddit thread discussing the skin reads, once again, at $14 a pop, they really need to not recycle assets from other skins. These aren't Marvel Legends. I sincerely hope we'll start getting original models for these legendary skins at some point. Are there any other AAA games that do this? I'd love to see an example, because I don't think there are. Well, other AAA games know how to make money, so nah, they wouldn't be recycling assets through skins and then need YouTubers to talk about how much of a dub it is, bro. Yeah, like you've never seen the comic book skin. A patch. For a five month old game with endless issues, removed features. And of course, defenders mirror the identical, that doesn't affect me, sentiment. Or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. I've never really done it in that way anyway, so it doesn't actually affect me. Or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage type. Uh, I mean, I don't really, I mean, I, I think there's some people that do do this, but I don't really don't do it. So, you know, I really, you know, it is what it is. Or defeating enemies using a specific attack slash damage shot. I'm not really a massive fan on the high room, so it really doesn't matter to me. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. This, this is extremely, extremely dangerous, dangerous to our democracy. What impresses me is how blatantly these shills display how out of touch they are to their own audience. I'm real enough to recognize that some people are only listening to me because other people aren't covering this game. But let's say, hypothetically, content creators did start covering this game. Why would they keep listening to you if all you do is lie to them? People are entitled to their own opinions, but opinions can be wrong. And being relatable, being human, means seeing things from more perspectives than the one you're currently shilling. If they were interested in money, they'd make comic accurate skins, or at least more faithful than this. If I were even capable of liking the lazy asset flip skins that I'm constantly being treated to because of this game, I would still be objective and aware enough to recognize its failure to represent its comic book counterpart. This skin isn't free, bitch, and neither is this game. So remember that the next time you're trying to tell people how to feel and how to react about something they paid for. You can't really complain, but yes, I can see why you would, but you just don't be ungrateful. Let's just say no, you can't really complain, and let's just enjoy it. It's free, right? That's right. Ungrateful. You're not on your knees with your mouth open, ready for this campaign replay seven months after launch. So those are your choices. Either you're ungrateful and you're toxic, or you are in love with yet another amazing skin to hit the marketplace. Home run, Crystal Dynamics. You really knocked it out of the park. But here's the real irony of these clowns calling people ungrateful, calling criticism complaining. It's that the artificial hype that these brain dead shills constantly manufacture does more harm then good for this game. You ready for an actually intelligent Kyle take? Marvel's Avengers has no endgame. If it were going to be getting an endgame, they would advertise that. This game has no future without players. And if you entice players to come when there's nothing for them to do, they will leave and they may not return. It would be better for the new players to jump in when there's actually endgame on offer, rather than now, when the only features that this game boasts in its huge content-heavy update are campaign replay and the ability to fight robots solo in a holographic room that's so customizable you can't change the environments. 
These defenders cannot be aware enough to clickbait people by putting Spider-Man and Black Panther in their thumbnails, yet simultaneously too stupid to process how this will backfire since they're consistently fanning flames fueled by speculation and tweets. Because dodging reality is what y'all do best, hats off. But what I really love is that the players can't even get a decent skin that they're being charged for, by the way. And y'all just calling everything a dub, gotta control that narrative. Skin not bad, you bad. <laughs> People seek representation of the comics they love because they're the reason that this property came this far. And when the Avengers Twitter is calling out comic fans who could only ever be disappointed with this half-assed attempt, may I ask, if they put Silver Centurion's fins on his elbows, and then made the palette green and orange, would that work? Would that be a dub for you? <laughs> or would it effectively ruin the two things you need to get right on the damn skin? The shoulder fins and the red and silver palette. For this skin, the vents and the machinery that's visible in his thighs and his neck and the traps, that's all this skin had to do right and it failed to do that. Again, entitled to your opinion. But y'all gotta be living in opposite world. That's all they had to nail, and they couldn't do that. Oh well. <laughs> Complaining makes people ungrateful, so you better have nothing negative to say. Damn it. Ever. Remember that these are the same people that call L's negative because they're toxic. Ooh. Only we can express how we feel. You better stop. Be more creative. You're just saying the same thing over and over. And y'all ain't. It's a dub, bro. <laughs> It's a dub, what does it mean in your brain? Listen, don't underestimate your audience. Even if they're not paying attention, their brain has already categorized you. <laughs> and if this game ever got popular, dust in the wind. But I'll tell you something, I'm hyped, you know? We can call water dry all day, it won't make it the truth. Water is wet, and Marvel's Avengers is bad. So bad, in fact, so non-existent, that real Avengers would sooner market Xbox and its Game Pass than even acknowledge this fart of a game. A fart is an Avenger. Think about that. Think about it. Falcon coming in hot with some cross-promotion for Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The same way that mobile games are dunking on this one with their inclusion of WandaVision skins for the Scarlet Witch. For Vision. Need a little chaos in your life? You know, Marvel characters? Maybe you've heard of them. Oh, but not this game, baby. So watch the skies. Does it mean Falcon? That would actually be smart. Does it mean War Machine? Because surely his kit would be easiest coming off of Iron Man. Does it mean Captain Marvel? Rest assured, you won't be getting any dates. Beta testers, thank you for liking and subscribing. I have decided I'm about to get hyped. For the 18th, for the huge changes, loot rework that'll finally make the game worth playing, I'm hyped that villains will finally be added to the villain sectors, I'm hyped that multiplayer will finally be stable and the enemies will actually spawn consistently. This is it guys, we're finally leaving early access according to the NPCs. I can't wait to see what comes next.